Welcome back everyone. As you can see, we're at the top loft again now. Because I was asked by a subscriber to do a video on our racing team for 2020. Not specific the entire racing team, but the old birds and the yearly birds. So that's the birds that are two years or more and the birds that are one year old that were young birds last year so as you can see on this loft there are 12 nest boxes so we can have 12 couples or as you can you can also say we will have 12 racing birds because we don't raise the hands on widowship because you know it's too much of a hassle to release them at separate uh, separate times of the day they can't see each other because otherwise uh, you know they're not as hyped to see each other for the race so it's just too much of a hassle to raise the females and the males, so we only raise the males. But, but we do raise the females at the end of the year, because uh, at the end of the year it's on nest, so yeah, you can raise them both. So anyways, um, I was, I'm now going, going to do a video showing off the three young birds, uh, the three old birds we have on here. We only have three because, you know, we started taking over the sport from my grandfather back in 2017, but we didn't keep any of the birds before 2018, so there are only three old birds on here, that are all three from 2018, and then there are also nine 2019 birds there are gonna be yearly birds in 2020 so let's start with this guy over here this guy was one of the best pigeons we had in quite a while he had four first placings at loft uh, at club level and another third placing or so yes and that's if you have like a first place at club level that's like a top three at federation level so he has four top three placings in federation level and one top ten placing so that's an absolutely top bird this one i have done a video on him specific on him opening his wing and showing him off but that's somewhere else on the channel as you can see the green ring is from 2018 but this is an absolutely top bird we haven't had a bird like him since you know 2014 or so and then this one is also an old bird it's actually his brother these are two full brothers that's the first round one, that's the second round one, but he, this one's not as good as him, but also a pretty good bird. As you can see, he's a little bit darker, a little bit more scared, as you can see. Oh, I guess he's not scared when he's on his eggs, but you know, he's a little bit darker col colored. Also a pretty good bird. And a full brother of him, that's why we kept him also. Uh, he had a few, I believe, his placings as a young bird were better as better than his. Because he had trouble building a nest and finding a mate, but he didn't. And he had a second place at federation level as a young bird, I'm pretty sure. And like a fifth at federation level also as a young bird. 
and as an old bird or yearly bird I should say it didn't fly as well as him uh, nearly as well but still quite okay and then this one this is the last this is the last old bird <laughs> I made a community post like a while ago with a first placing at federation level that's his that was this guy he only did it once though he had a few other pretty good placings but not nearly as good as these two and he was pretty useless as a yearly bird like a real uses, I don't think yet. Maybe three prizes or so, not not many much more. But we kept him just because you know he had that first placing at federation level, and not just the first placing. If he, he flew about three minutes before the second bird, which is absolutely unseen at a race that only takes about an hour, so that's. 5% faster than the second bird which is absolutely amazing but he hasn't done it since so you know those are gonna be the three old birds and in the next video I'll show you guys the nine yearly birds